We have another cold front coming through right now in the Keys. It's like 50 degrees this morning. I know, not cold compared to where you guys are from, but, but it's pretty dang chilly. A little chilly for the Keys. We haven't taken this jacket out since our well, trip back from Rhode Island on the Whaler. When we did the 100 miles on the Boston Whaler, over 100 miles. And we've been missing our handheld radio. But. I've been looking everywhere for it. I just found it. <laughs> we have another handheld that came with the boat. This was our original handheld. Do you want to narrate? We're heading to our first day of our level one free diving class at Formula Free Divers. We figured while, while we're in the Keys, we should do this class and... We wanted to make sure we got it done before we leave for the Bahamas. We're gonna learn to hold our breath longer. The course says that we learn the skills and techniques to be able to free dive down the 66 feet. Safely. Safely. So we're starting off today, we're going to the shop, Formula Free Diving, and... From like nine to one, it's like classroom stuff. So we're gonna learn all, all about like techniques and safety and equipment in the classroom. And then the second half of the day, we're gonna go to someone's pool and we're gonna practice what we learned in the classroom. Right? Safety stuff and like breath holds. And tomorrow we're supposed to go out on an open water dive and practice everything we learned today in the ocean. Which and is where we actually go to 66 feet. But it's looking like it may be a little too windy to go tomorrow. So we might have to hold that part off until another time. That's the plan. Wish us luck. just did the classroom section of our course and we just grabbed some lunch down the road. What'd you think? I learned a lot. Learned that we're doing some stuff right, some stuff wrong. We're going to a pool this afternoon and we're gonna do some, a lot of the stuff we learned in the classroom in, in the pool. What, what was the most interesting thing you learned from the classroom? When you get past a certain depth, you just get sucked down deeper and deeper and deeper. Because at a certain depth, you become neg negatively buoyant. And then you start going doo 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 doo, -doo, -doo And you don't have to kick or pull or anything. Why? You're like a Tonight for dinner, I have concocted a masterpiece of green beans, grass-fed beef over a kale salad topped with mushrooms, avocado, and our very own homegrown sprouts. Good job. We've had these on our boat and this container for like two years. We had it on Neverland, but we just finally began to grow some sprouts, which I think are perfect healthy boat food. Because one of the hardest things about living on a boat is keeping greens good. And like you go a long time between provisioning and like greens like 
lettuce and spinach and stuff are the first thing that goes. So sprouts don't have to be refrigerated until they're like done. And you make them when you need them. Yeah, and they only take two or three days in warm weather. Sorry about the mess in here. We are now done with our classroom and pool section of our free diving course. And tomorrow we're going out on the boat for- Oh, but wait a minute. So our classroom and pool course, we did a little bit of breath holding and who won? We did what they call it, static apnea breath holding. And that's where you just kind of lay down in the pool face down and hold your breath for as long as you can while you stay completely still. And part of this course is learning all the safety and supervision of it all. So we each had a partner to kind of tap us on the shoulder at certain intervals and wait for us to give them a sign so that they know that we're still conscious and okay and everything. I gotta say, we were both getting a little chilly in the pool, which makes it a little harder. No excuses though. And I wanted to hold my breath for three minutes. And I only got to 226. And how much did I get to? I feel like I got to 212. So Sierra's better at checkers, sometimes rummy, not hitting crab pots with the boat, and so far holding her breath longer. And I can swim faster. And she's a fast, faster swimmer. My list is growing. Tomorrow we're going out on the boat and we're going into deeper water and we're gonna have a line that hangs down from a float with the weight at the bottom. And it's marked every certain distance. I think the goal is to try to dive to 66 feet, which is 20 meters, and kind of work on the other skills that we've learned in the classroom and the pool. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Well, let's go over what are some of the interesting things that we learned. Well, the hardest thing for me is keeping my snorkel out of my mouth because I've been snorkeling and free diving for however long and I've never taken my snorkel out and now you have to because when you're diving if you black out your jaw clenches and then the snorkel stuck in your mouth and your body can't get it out. We learned about the mammalian dive reflex where if your face is submerged in the water and you begin to hold your breath and what else kicks it off? high CO2 levels in your blood and body, and it kicks off this reflex that most mammals have that allows your heart rate to slow down and your body to just start conserving oxygen. It brings all your blood from your hands to your center, so you're not wasting energy sending blood to your extremities. There's like over like 50 little things it does as well. I'm just looking at Sierra's notes here that she took because I can't read my own. 99% of blackouts occur within 17 feet of the surface of the water, that's five meters, or on the surface of the water. So instead of breathing with your chest, you're breathing with your belly, like in yoga. And that brings the air to the bottom of your lungs where most of the gas exchange occurs, so it's just much more efficient way to breathe. So when we're doing our breathe up, where we're kind of trying to relax our body and get a good flow of gases, into our blood and releasing CO2 and taking in oxygen. We're belly breathing. We're belly breathing. And then when we take our final breath before we dive, we breathe with, with your belly again to fill up the bottom portion of your lungs. And then you can breathe with your chest and then try and kind of move your body around a little to get that last bit of breath in to hold your breath. All right, well, there's some fun facts for you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Up and overflowing. And there's a whole lot of it apparently. Okay, any more comments, questions, need help? Quick way. Go ahead, Mike. Load start, good morning, go ahead. Good morning, Don and the Harbor. Uh, Wearing our shirt. We'll herd them in to you guys. We're just walking back to the boat from Publix and there's a little tiny bunny rabbit in the parking lot. About to run into the busy street. Rabbit. Made this late. Oh well, at least he's safe. Look at this road he would have ran in.
Heading right for that road, right? Lucky enough, it was right in front of this big vet office. It wasn't, it didn't come from there, they said. I wonder where it came from. It looked like a. It's it look, definitely a pet bunny. Yeah, it wasn't like a wild rabbit. We saved a little bunny rabbit. We did our final provisioning before we head out of here. But first, we're going on the boat to do our free dive, the end of our free dive course. Are you ready? I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. What I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. My hopes and dreams are to make it to 66 feet without my ears hurting. And without blocking out. Yes, without blacking out. But if I do black out, I know I have a buddy that can save me. That's me.